everybody welcome back to the all things good channel and to another video it's polly here it's lovely to see you thank you for joining me done an awful lot this week we've had easter i have done an online shop i have been to little i've been to holland and Merritt. i've been to body care i've been to the charity shop i've been to the garden center i bought some lovely new clothes from next and i've done all sorts of bits and pieces around the house so there's just loads to show you so let's get into it enjoy the video so we're having a look around little today Let's go and see what's in the middle of Little. just been into our local town into Litchfield and done a little bit of a shop I've done a little top-up shop from Lidl I've been to body care and I've been to Holland and Barrett and I'll show you what I got so first of all in body care I picked up some cotton wool cosmetic pads I was very very pleased about and some Nivea micellar water I you always use this one actually and it's the rose water it's got a little bit of oil in but i find that rose water is very clearing for the skin so that's a good one and these were an absolute bargain they're both 100 ml perfumes eau de parfum and they were both only 2.99 each and as you can see they do look remarkably like other perfumes on the market this one is they're both sort of um, copies if you like of other perfumes and they smell identical so this one you might be able to guess from the design I'm not going to say the real name but it rhymes with the word larder <laughs> and um, I think that one might be called candy sweet or something like that but packaging almost identical there were testers available in the shop as well which is unusual at the moment with Covid so it was it was nice to try the testers and this one, La Vie de Annabelle, similar packaging, La Vie en Belle, um, otherwise advertised by, I think, Julia Roberts on the television. And again, it smells identical. So treating myself to those, they will be good for going to work. In Holland and Barrett, I stocked up on some of my vitamins. I got cranberry with vitamin C. That's a really high dose one. Um, in fact, that's the, probably the highest dose that Holland and Barrett do. So you get 400 milligrams of cranberry in there. I picked up marine collagen that does have a bit of extra vitamin C in, but as you already know from my previous videos, I take a high dose vitamin C tablet each day. So that's got, uh, that's marine collagen. I also got gentle iron. I do take iron tablets every day. And again, 20 milligram, I think is the highest dose that Holland and Barrett do. And I also picked up my skin, hair and nails formula that I use every day as well. Now, you may think marine collagen, thought you were vegetarian, Polly, and 99.9% .9 of the time I am vegetarian, but I'm struggling to find another collagen product um, supplement that might be vegan or vegetarian. So I can't say I'm 100% vegetarian because of some of the supplements that I take. But anyway, there we go. Do my best. In Little, 
I picked up some essentials, brown onions, red onions, and this is my Easter present from my mom. <laughs> Bless her. I'm going to open it up and show you in a minute, but it is a birdhouse, and it's like a little caravan, and I thought it was so sweet. It's got a still hanging loop, um, and also it's got um, a little back entrance to it that you can clean it out and put bits and pieces in little tip for you actually for birds if you're taking the hair out of your hair brushes if you actually put it inside your bird box they love that for nesting there you go i learned that recently as well i got adam an easter egg from their deluxe range i got some comfort pure one of my favorite fabric conditioners albert is standing on the flowers let's put you down i got some yellow roses very spring easter like and I've got some white oriental lilies. I buy these lilies all the time from Little. They're only £3.79 and they last longer than any other supermarket lilies I've ever bought. Absolutely superb. I picked up a couple of ribbed t-shirts, two pack. Some apples and some drained tin tuna. And again, that'll be for Grace when she comes back because she loves tuna pasta bake. So, done really well today. Bargains galore. Little top up shop. So, in the process of sorting out Grace's bedroom, ready for the decorators, it would appear that the smoke damage that we have on the ceiling has actually landed everywhere. There is soot on every piece of furniture that she has. It's absolutely filthy. So I am cleaning as I am going through the organisational process and the need to sort out this drawer unit. It's full of stuff, a lot of which she loves and going to keep, but it just needs a really good clean. This drawer she'd also been keeping in some of the hamsters treats and food. So I'm going to get rid of all of that. It's so dirty. And now we've got a bit more organisation for all of Grace's hair things, for little ties, bobbles, clips somewhere she can keep her hair dryer and straighteners and curlers and mirror which is not on the floor thank you Can you hear that? Trendsetter. Neighbour's got his mower out, see? Keeping up with the Johnsons. I'm good for something. Done it. Not too bad in the great scheme of things, is it? It'll do. For about another week. <laughs> Now that the weather is improving, I decided to treat myself to a couple of new dresses. These are from Next. I got this one in a size 12. It's the Pour Moi dress and it's £35. This one is called the multi stripe dress, it's £34 and I also got this in a size 12. The really nice thing about this as well is that it has pockets, which is unusual on a summer dress. I 
also bought a blue denim jacket. I actually got this one in a size 14, so I do like it to be a little bit bigger to go over different tops. This was £32, and I think it goes nice with both dresses, actually, so you could always wear it in the evening if it starts to get a bit chilly, or on a spring day that's not quite warm enough just to have the summer dress on. Today I've done a little trip into Sutton Coalfield, which is not too far from where I live, and went into the St Giles Hospice shop. Now St Giles um, have hospices here in the Staffordshire region and in the West Midlands, and actually the St Giles Hospice that's closest to where I live now is actually the hospice where my sister passed away back in 2013. So myself and my family have always supported them, whether it's just buying a few little bits and pieces from their shops, or we've actually donated a lot of things to them over the years, both when Sarah passed away and again when my father passed away. I picked up a couple of little things in the local St Giles hospice shop today, so I'll show you. So the first thing I got was this very nice little Jamie Oliver set. And it's still sealed, so I won't open it at the moment, but it is probably going to be quite useful. Probably at Christmas time, things like you could put your bread sauce in or your cranberry sauce. And it did actually come, which I did pay separately for, another £1.50, the other thing was £7.50. A little um, porcelain dish, that's Debenham's one, but I thought it does sit quite nicely in there. So that was cute. And then I also found this very nice vase which is very, very, very heavy. And the watermark on the bottom is Buchan Portobello, Scotland. And I think the Portobello region in Scotland is quite famous for its pottery. And it's super, super heavy, so it's very pretty. And I bought some nice flowers to go in there. I was chuffed with many little purchases. as you can tell but um, I had a text really early to say that my delivery is coming I've ordered two topiary trees but they're not real Ooh, could be here um, <clears throat> for my front door outside my front door so they're about to arrive and I've been looking for something like this actually since I moved in so over two years and I see some, I don't like them, some look really fake, some I don't want real because I can't bother to look after them. And um, I've noticed a few houses around here, the townhouses have got these things at the front. And um, so they should be here in a minute, so I'll show them to you. I've just had this week's online food shop order come and this week I got first of all I got from the vegetarian butcher I got the unbelievables which are vegetarian meatballs which we've had on lots of occasions and they're absolutely delicious there is uh, per 85 grams 152 calories and there's 170 grams in the packet they're soy based very high in protein and also have a good source of vitamin b12 and iron in and i have to take extra iron every day so that's always a good one for me i got two small lunch packets of vegan sushi i got some venus gillette venus comfortable glide 
razor replacement ends. The usual cat food, Purina. Got some zero sugar Coca-Cola for Adam. Topped up on my decaf coffee. Instant coffee, I only drink Kinko. It's just the one I like, just the one I prefer. I've got some L'Oreal Elvive Dream Lengths hair conditioner. Good to me, because I've got very dry hair. That's got some duct tape. And that's because my garden hose has a little leak at the top. So hopefully that will fix that. I got some houseplant feed, which I haven't used this one before, but um, you add it to about a litre of water, I think. And every second or third little drink you give your indoor plants, that's meant to help with essential nutrients. I got two small Pizza Express margarita pizzas. Adam is pizza mad and obviously vegetarian, so they're margarita. Got some more of the Dettel wipes that you know I'm fond of. I buy those a lot. Two packets of microwave whole grain basmati and wild rice. That's a really good one. I use that when I do my, I think you've seen my winter salad recipe that isn't really a salad because it's got cauliflower and beetroot and sweet potato in, but it's it, the recipe is winter salad, which is in one of my videos if you see it. And you put rice with it and for quickness, I always put that one in. I got some Muller Corner Coffee Hoop Corner Puddings, which again, Adam likes. I topped up on my salt. I always get this one, it's French, and I can't really tell anything more about it than that, because it's all in French and I don't speak French, apart from the fact that they are master salt makers. And it's not table salt, it's not fine grained, it, but it's not as large as sea salt, if that makes sense. More treats for the cats, the usual. We box, we box, however it's pronounced. We got beef flavour. My cats aren't vegetarian. <laughs> We've got salmon and trout. I think that's it. And then the we box licky licks, salmon yogurt. I quite like the liver one from the other day as well. But okay, whatever. And I also got Cravendale skimmed milk. Now had skimmed milk for years and but more recently I've also been having skinny oat milk because I attempted to go vegan and it's not really working out I really like this but it's the only oat milk that I like the oat milk is very gassy so I don't tend to have very much of it so although I had it on my cereal this morning I had porridge cherry almond porridge that was quite nice but generally as a rule if I have it on cereal where there's more milk I stick to my my cow's milk skimmed cow's milk and I just have the Oatly in teas and coffees so I don't have very much of it I don't have very much milk at all actually because I only probably have cereal once a week or twice at the very most but so not vegan not vegetarian really either with my supplements and my marine collagen but hey, and the last, oh no, not the last thing I got, but another thing I got was corn roast sliced fillets. Adam likes those in sandwiches, like chicken, but not. And then I treated myself to a couple of things. I got three different sized Price's Pillar candles. There it is. And I've got, I'll show you in a bit, I've got a chrome sort of candle holder thing that I used at Christmas and I bought it in Aldi and I put fake candles in, fake flamed candles, pillar candles and garland and Christmas decorations inside and I had it in the lounge and it looked really pretty but I thought well actually the, the actual holder without the Christmas decorations in I could use it any time and I might have it on my hallway table when I take down the little Easter decorations so I might do that later. And another treat, I bought myself a new lunchbox for work. This is quite a posh one, isn't it? It's called Beau Elliot. It's from the supermarket. It's a British band, brand. Um, and what I liked about it is the fact that I can get my water bottle in. So I sometimes take a very little lunchbox and my water bottle separate and my handbag and my work stuff and too much. So I can get everything in there. 
And also, if I wanted to take a smoothie to work, I can put my big bottle with my smoothie inside and it'll all fit. And I thought that was very, very cute. So that is this week's little shop. <laughs> So I have just had a lovely warm bath and I'm in my snuggly, cosy clothes for the evening. I'm just going to watch a bit of TV and then that's it for tonight and that's it for this video. So I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you again next week. Take care of yourselves. See you then. Bye.